we're asked to determine the domain and range of each function. Where the domain is a set of all possible inputs or x values, also known as a collection of all abscissas, and the range is a set of all possible outputs or y values, also referred to as the collection of all ordinates. Notice how the first function is given as a set of ordered pairs. Each ordered pair is in the form of x comma y or the input comma the output, which means the domain is negative two, zero, one, three, and four, and the range is three, five, notice how five occurs twice, seven and eight. When giving the domain and range as a list, we use set notation or curly brackets. So we have open curly bracket, and then again the domain is negative two, comma zero, comma one, comma three, comma four, close curly bracket. And then for the range we have open curly bracket, three, even though five occurs twice, we only list it once, so we have three, comma five, comma seven, comma eight. Next we have a function given as a horizontal table, where again the domain is a set of all possible x values or inputs, and therefore the domain is negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, and one, and the range is a set of all possible outputs or y values, which are the function values, which are five, four, and three. So to give the domain, again we start with an open curly bracket, and then we have negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, and one. And it is common to give the list in order from least to greatest. So for the range, we will say three comma four comma five. Again, even though three occurs multiple times, we only list it once. For the third example, we have a function given as a vertical table, where again the domain is a set of all possible inputs or x values. The domain is negative three, negative one, zero, one, and three. And the range is a set of all possible outputs, y values, or function values. And therefore the range is negative four, zero, two, and five. So again, the domain in curly brackets is negative three, negative one, zero, one, and three. And the range, in order from least to greatest, is negative four, comma, zero. Again, we only list zero once, two, comma, five. I hope you found this helpful.